How did you build a relationship with your kids? When my kids were younger, I used to think that I was actually building relationships with my kids by having family day. So every Sunday, we'd be going out and we'd have the whole family together and I would convince myself, yeah, I'm building great relationships, I'm building a great family because, you know, we have family day. And I did this all the time. And after a few years, I started realizing, you know what, there's something wrong with this. I'm having family day once a week, but this is not making a difference in my relationship with each of my kids. There's something wrong. And I realized family day does not build relationships the way that we think that they're going to build. What I needed to do was have one-on-one -on -one time with each person in order to build a relationship. So what I did was my first son, I said, okay, Sunday, we're going to get together. We're going to chat for an hour. Give me the time that's good for you. And then he'd give me the time. Then I would sit down for that one hour. It's just me and him. It was like a coaching session. But I realized something. You know, if I'm always just talking and I'm lecturing and, and I'm teaching and I want him to know everything that I've learned in my whole life, that's not going to work. That's not going to build a relationship. What I realized that I had to do was I needed to join his world. I needed to keep my mouth shut and ask him questions. Ask him, what does he think? What does he believe? How does he feel? Ask him questions where he starts to open up. And when I started asking him questions, as soon as he started to talk, then I kept my mouth shut. I wanted to, him to keep talking and keep telling me things because this is what builds the relationship by him being able to share what's in his heart. I've met so many parents who have said, you know what, my son or my daughter is going through a real tough time and I didn't know. I didn't know this it's because they never asked him any questions. We don't realize how listening is so important if we only knew what listening does to heal somebody's heart. We would ask questions and listen to them. Because think about this, if you could actually see that when you ask a question and your child starts to answer the question, eventually you're gonna get to the point where the child starts to tell you about their life. Like with my kids, I wanted them to share more about their feelings. So I started telling them stuff that I was doing when I was their age. And the mistakes that I made, I tell them. And they're like, you did that? Well, let me tell you what I did. And that's when I went, uh-oh, let's see what they did. And then they would share what they did. And then eventually you would get to a point where I'm thinking, man, I didn't know they were doing this. But it was building the relationship, asking questions, then closing your mouth, allowing them to talk will eventually protect them. Because if they're ever going through any pain in their life, when you ask them questions, they will eventually get that pain out and be able to share it with you. And when they're able to get it out, it will heal their heart because you listened. This is how I was able to build good, strong relationships with my kids.